Today I am going to talk about a very uh, simple topic but uh, it is really important whenever you are designing there is uh, a thing that you should always care about and which is uh, viewport height. Now what is viewport height? It is the height of the your user's view uh, whatever they are going to see uh, for the first time. So it is going to have some width and some height. So whenever you go to your browser, like you can see over here, uh, this is um, uh, a website called whatismyviewport.com. Now you can see right now my viewport size is 1536 pixels by 792 pixels. So right now I am on a 1920 by 1080 p monitor. And you can see this is almost uh, my viewport size. So whenever you are designing, you you need to take care of these values because this is uh, this vertical is uh, this vertical height of your viewport is actually going to define how much of the content your users are going to see. So uh, if you go to this, uh, this is um, uh, a landing page I was working from the past seven days. And you can see over here, I have set my viewport to 700 and let's set it to 760. So you can see right now we have this, this is Adobe XD and you can see over here, this is the viewport line. So if I try to preview this, you can see this is my design and this is the actual size of my design. So you can see over here, it is actually 1440 pixels wide and the height viewport height is actually uh, 760 pixels. So you can see this is the, uh, the content user is going to see in the first glance. This is very important uh, user uh, in user experience or conversion. Uh, if you want to convert your users, uh, the text written over here, the text copy, the tone you have used over here, uh, or the button colors you have uh, used over here, these are the factors that are going to convince your user to take action. So this viewport height is very important. I think a lot of designers, they might ignore it. I learned this trick, simple trick from my brother. He is also a designer, he's my younger brother. And what he actually used to do is he actually set this to 760. And then uh, he tried to see whenever user is going to scroll, how much uh, information they are going to see in each section. So right now you can see uh, as I'm scrolling, I'm seeing these four certifications along with these two videos and this new section over here. Then if I drag down, you can see this, uh, uh, this whole viewport is actually having this section. So it is better if uh, the whole viewport have uh, uh, the whole section plus some of the data from the next section. So just uh, give a user a cue that there is something you need to see more. You need to explore more. So here we have it. You can see over here, these are testimonials. Then we have this section, uh, which is uh, another section for this text website and this landing page. Then we have this, how it works. So you can see right now I have 760 and this is actually fitting nicely inside it. So whenever my user or my customer is trying to read something, they are going to love it because they don't have most, more distractions to work with. Similarly, you can see over here, now this form is almost taking the whole viewport size. So this is how actually I design. So, so this, is, this is what I try to uh, you know, implement in my designs because I, I don't want the user to you know, be overwhelmed with a lot of information. So this is another section you can see over here, this is common answer to questions. As, uh, and this is our footer. So you can see even the footer is taking the whole height of your viewport. So uh, this is how I would suggest that you design your uh, website or mobile app version of your website, responsive web websites or whatever you are designing. Now this is a mobile version and you can see here I have uh, set the viewport height to 812 pixels, which is for iPhone X. So um, you can set it to 700 something for uh, or 667 for uh, iPhone, simple iPhone 6, 7, 8. And if we view, you can see this is actually the view your user is going to see. So this is actually what they are going to see. They are going to scroll down and things like that. So 
uh, whenever you are designing, you are going to take care of this viewport height. And here are a few tools to uh, see the viewport. With one of them is this one. What is my viewport.com? Then I also use this. This is my device.io. It is showing the width of viewport, but it is, it doesn't show me the height. Actually, I, I really want to uh, know the height. I'm not sure. Here are the comparison of different um, devices. You can see I, Apple iPhone X 812 CSS height. Uh, CSS width 375. This is what we want to, uh, you know, set uh, in our designs. So iPhone 6 Plus and 414, 736. So these are different heights and width of CSS, uh, the HTML which your developer is going to use. So make sure you always view your designs or test your designs using at least one of them. Uh, then we have another one which is this one, screen sizes dot es. Uh, I don't find it very uh, useful because it is showing the actual uh, pixels on your uh, mobile phone which is not going to help us much so I will eliminate this one okay so this one is also great I have shown it in my other uh, you can see videos uh, so this is material.io slash resources slash devices material design device matrix so here you can see we have width and height in pixels and we have width and height in dps which is actually the uh, unit for designing Android apps. So we are right now interested in this one. So if we uh, sort this out, we can also sort it, I think, by height, by width. Oops. So this is actually iPhone 320 by 480. And uh, if we go over here, you can see 640 by 1136 iPhone 5. I think these are not very realistic. Uh, this one I think um, is accurate. So this is actually the viewport size, not uh, the you can see over here CSS height. We we need this. So the uh, so the website I recommend is mydevices.device mydevice.io, and uh, go down and you will see all the different um, CSS height and widths of your devices. Use them in your designs. Viewport size and see what the user is going to uh, be looking at for the first time when the website or the web page is loaded. So that is the importance of viewport and a simple trick that you set it and try to scroll down and see how the user uh, experience will be, what information they will be exposed to whenever they are scrolling like that. So this is all. I hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, try to like, subscribe and uh, click on the notification bar. And if you want to share it with your friends, you can share it. Uh, I will try to keep on creating these kind of videos. Uh, till then, take care and bye. See you soon in another video.